Hello True Believer and welcome back. Today we're going to go through Activity 1, Avoid the Cat. So this is a game we're going to build in Scratch. Um, and you can see the step-by-step -step guide here that goes through clearly how to build this game. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over here. So the first step to building the game is we need to save it. So on, using the offline editor is a little bit different to the online. With the online, uh, you would just type in the top here. But with the offline editor, basically what we're going to go is file and then just save as, and then we're going to call it um, what we're going to use. So avoid the cat. And there we go. So this now has been saved and you can see up here next to the uh, maximize button, there's the avoid the cat. So now the project's named and it's saved. So it's very clear. The next step is we're going to choose our backdrop. So we come down here to the backdrop um, button. We click here and we, we've got no backdrop selected. So we click on here. Now you can open this from any of the stock art that is available. So you can either create one from the library, uh, draw on this area. So you can come down here and just draw and see what happens. Uh, or you can find your own images or take a photo. So I'm just going to use the standard backdrop that Scratch has built in. Um, so let's just try the blue sky. And there we go. So now Scratch is now up right here on the blue sky. We're now going to have to add uh, the different sprites. We've already got sprite one for scratch. We need to add some more sprites. So here are where all the sprites that get added. Um, again, same thing. So you can choose one from the library. You can draw your own one. You can upload a sprite from a file or you can take a picture of a sprite. So we're going to take a light one from the library. Now we'll probably want to go get an animal. So we click on the animal and we want to catch a mouse. So down here, there's mouse one. And we just select that, double click. And there we got it. So now we've got our two different actors on the stage here. So to make the, the mouse move, um, basically we need to click on here and we click on the mouse and then we've got all the different scripts that happen. So with Scratch, we always wanna have a control structure and an event. So the event is when the green flag is clicked, which basically means that the program is running. So we click on there. Now we go control and we run the forever loop. So this means forever, this mouse is going to be moving. So where do we want the mouse to move to? We go to the motion and we're going to make it go to the mouse pointer. So forever, if we play this now, look what happens. The mouse and the mouse have now become one. Okay, so then we'll just stop. And that's a big thing with scratches. Make sure you play with this as you're building. Uh, so the other bit of code that we need to do is then now step five. So if we open up the scratch, um, we see that there's no script. So now we've got to put in the green flag again, have the forever loop. And we want, now want him to move towards the mouse. So let's point him towards. And the name of this sprite here is mouse one. So instead of the mouse pointer, we want to change this guy. Hopefully there's, there it is. So there's mouse one. So forever now, this is going to be point to the mouse pointer. Now, again, it's always good just to test this to see what happens. So as we move the mouse, see that he's, he's looking at him now. Okay. Now the next step is we want to make him move. Okay. So we might want to add this move 10 steps and put that in. And now let's see what happens. So now scratch is going to continually move around the screen to try and catch the mouse. And there he is. He's got him. Okay. So we've completed the the next step is uh, step seven. We want to extend this with some sound. So um, we want to go basically in another event and we want to have when a key is pressed. So we might make it when spacebar is pressed. So whenever uh, spacebar is pressed, we want to now have a sound coming out of it. So sound play meow. And we wanted to also say, which comes under the looks category. So we want to now say, uh, maybe not for two seconds, but let's say meow, and we'll do that for one second. So now if we press the next bar, there we go. Scratch is now meowing at us, and we're moving around. The last step is now we're going to extend it with a counting system. So we go under events. There, we're going to have something called variables. Now, variables are stored data. So under the data, we're going to make a variable and we're going to call it count. This goes for all the different sprites. And we're going to set count to one. 
And we're going to now wrap that up in a forever loop. So forever. And then we want to have a conditional. So if. And then if it's touching the mouse. So use the sensing. So the sensing basically will detect anything. So if we're touching. And instead of the mouse pointer, we now want it to be touching the mouse. And we go back to our data. We want to change the count by one. Okay. And then now, because we don't want it just to, if it's touching, see how it's just infinitely going up? That's not a good thing. So we just stop there. Um, we want to wait one second. Okay. So now, if we play that, Scratch will come around. If he touches him, see how the score goes up by one. Okay, so that's all we have for today. Um, have a look through this. Any questions, please feel free to email me or your teacher. Thank you again.